Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I will continue my topics of statistics. So in this video, I want to talk about the stem and leaf diagram of uh, how to describe our data by a graph. So about the stem and leaf uh, diagram, so actually this means if we have some data, we will divide our numerical data into some uh, actually two parts. So the first part we call this as a stem. So that means we will include all the digits of the data except the last digit. And then the leaf is about the last digit. So you can image like if our data is only have one digit, for example, is number one, two, three, four. Then actually here the last digit is these numbers, and our uh, our stem will be all as zero. However, if we have a example like looks like this, then what we have we have uh, our stem is the uh, first uh, uh, or first two digits. For example, here I circle or oh, I underline the stem by the red color. So for the first. Uh, Actually, for the number in the first line, these are all the first digits for each number. And then for the number in the second line, this is a 1, 2 in this number. And then the number I didn't uh, use the right color to underline it is our leaf. So this is how we can divide it, our data to two parts. One is stem, one is leaf. And then how we can draw the graph of this uh, uh, stem and leaf digit uh, graph. So this is uh, actually the thing I write on the left of this uh, black color. So this is now we will have something look like a uh, two column. So the first column is about our stem and the second column is about our leaf. So here in this example, how many different stem we have? We have something like only have one for the stem, we have only two for the stem, three for stem, or one, two for the stem. So we will order them from the smallest to the largest. So that means the first stem we have is only one, the second is number two, third is number three, and the last one is number one, two. Okay, and then how we can get for the leaf. So the one for leaf is we just uh, uh, just write. So here to list all of the leaf. For the leaf, for the stem one, uh, with number one, we have this as a one. We have one, we have two, we have three. So we have four number with same stem number one. So that means here we just leave all of them. And then how many leaves we have for the stem with two? So they are number 21 and 24. So we just list all of the leaf here. So this is number one and four on our leaf for stem with number two. And then for the three, this we also list all of the leaf. So we have three, three, six, seven. And then for the last one about the stem with number one, two, then what is our leaf? We only have one number with this stem, so the leaf is one. So you can see this is how we can draw a stem and leaf graph by hand. So this is on the left column, it's all of the stem with all the digits except the last digit. And for the second column on the right, this is our leaf column. And they only have the last digit and we just list all of them. So this is how draw by a hand. And if you use some software to help you draw this, so there are, of course there are many choice of the software. So uh, for example, you can use a SAS, SAS, you can use SPSS, you can use the software R, and uh, they also have some uh, special like uh, some special uh, more uh, more software to do this. So here, if you use a software R to do this, so then here I want to uh, explain this in detail. 
but the idea is first you need to save your uh, data as uh, give the uh, name and load it to the R software. For example, if I save my data as a data set, this name, and then what uh, I can do is I can just use the function in the software. So the function's name is stem, and I say princess and give the name of my data. Uh, so here, this is uh, how I can get the uh, stem uh, leaf graph in the R software and then with the output. So the output will look very similar for our uh, handwriting or uh, hand plot uh, in the previous page, but uh, here is only just a short difference. It will don't have the name of the column. They won't tell you like, okay, the first column is stem, the second column is leaf. They will automatically think you know this. So the plot on the R software will more look similar like this. So you can see they also have two columns, but they won't give you the column name. So you should automatically know the first one is for the stem and the second one, second column is for our leaf. Okay, so this is how to draw the stem and the leaf for a numerical data. However, before the end of this video, I want to talk uh, several more things. The first thing is what's the advantage and what's the disadvantage of our stem and leaf plot. Because in the following videos, I will talk about much more uh, plots, statistical plots about the data. So for this leaf and stem, uh, stem and leaf plot, so one important, um, important uh, advantage is we can show all of the general shapes of our distribution. Or you, in other words, actually you can see uh, for each stem, you can automatically see here, like for the first stem, we have uh, much more data here. And for the third stem, they also have four numbers for here. However, for the other two stem, they have much less data. And also for the stem and leaf, uh, Plots actually just by this graph you can know how many data you have and exactly which numbers for each uh, inside this data set right because for the first one you know this is uh, 11 by you know sum of the stem and leaf so this is 1 1 so it's 11 and the other is 1 1 so another 11 1 2 means 12 1 3 means 13 so that means just by the stem and the leaf uh, plot, actually you know exactly how all of the data, or all of the numbers you will uh, you have for this uh, data set. However, this is also have a disadvantage. The disadvantage is if we have a data set with so many data, for example, here we just have a data set with uh, 11 numbers. However, if you image, you have data sets with 100 numbers, with 1,000 numbers, with uh, 1 million numbers. And uh, also if the numbers, like no matter the numbers is with uh, just uh, similar digits, uh, num similar numbers of digits for the data. So that means you have very, maybe 10 or 20 stamps, but each of them will have hundreds of leaves. It will be a really long line here. And also if you have a data set with very sprite data, so for this uh, sparse data, then that means for the number of your stem will be maybe hundreds stem. So this uh, column, you will have so many uh, rows in all the columns. So in this situation, you will think we actually, although stem and leaf data uh, plot will give us all information of the data, but we want to give a more abstract or summary of the data, not exactly, you know, so many information. So then this will become related to our next uh, videos. So here uh, about the histograph, uh, hi histogram uh, plot, 
Okay, so but before uh, we move to the next video, I still have some terminology I want to talk about in this uh, section. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the quantiles. So in the previous video, we already talked about what's the definition of the medium of a uh, data set. So in other words, the medium is uh, uh, if we order the uh, data and the media is if we have old number of data, this is a middle one. If we have even numbers of the data, is an average of the middle two. So if you're not familiar about that one, please look at my video of the summary of the numerical data. So about the quantile, this is just by the name, you know, this is something about one fourth, right? So for the quantile, this means we will divide our data to four equal parts of an ordered data set. The, uh, the first one is our first uh, quantile. So then after we divide it to four uh, parts, then of course for uh, four parts, it means we will have uh, three uh, dividing parts, right? So the first one we call this is as Q1, the second is Q2, the third is Q3. So for the Q1, it means uh, if we value this from the smallest to the largest, right? So that means here the, we will have 25 percentage of the data is smaller than Q1. And then for Q3, it means there is a 75 percentage values is smaller than Q3. And then for the middle one, this is, we can also call this as a second quarter quantile, but this one actually is a more commonly to call this as our median. So this is what we, uh, what we talk about or where we give the definition in our last video. Okay, and then one more thing is about this part is the interquartile. So interquartile range is means we will get the value of of the Q three minus the Q one. So here also we denote this by I Q R. So this is also one important uh, value for our interquartile uh, of our data. Okay, so this is how uh, to describe if we divide the data to four parts four parts. And also there is a smooth question is uh, about quarter is also an uh, important uh, value for statistics. And another thing is percentage, right? So percentage means we divided our data into 100 parts. So for the percentage, then of course we will have different uh, like first percentage, second percentage. So here we have from the first one until the 99. And then the other is the smallest and the largest state. And so for the percentage, we say this is a case percentage. So case percentage means we will have K hundred percentage of the values is below this value or say smaller than this value. So this was the definition for the case percentile. Okay, so that is about all materials I want to talk about in this video about the stem and leaf uh, plows and how to draw them by hands with the uh, uh, prompts and uh, disadvantage of them and two important terminology about uh, uh, quantile and uh, percentile. So in next video, I will start talking about one more plows of our uh, numerical data. So please subscribe this channel and uh, see you in next video.